Okay, this one's focusing on Goldie, who needs to find an owner. Okay, she's a cross between <laughs> my little toy poodle Sadie and a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Not this one, it's a girl, but one very like this. I can send a photo. Okay, anyway, there she is. Let's try and keep the camera on her. She's got a light blue whelping collar. And there is another puppy who looks just like her, the one she's talking to now, he's called Chester. But you can see her head is a bit smaller and there's a bit less white on her face. Okay, and the reason she's still looking for a home is I was wanting to keep her to be my next breeding bitch. Because I desperately want one of Sadie's puppies. And of the five puppies, when we went for the health check yesterday, she's the only one who has a little health issue. She has a tiny little hernia right near her umbilicus. The vet assures me that will have no impact on her health in later life. And um, won't exclude her from being a really lovely pet dog. But she said hernias are heritable. Um, which means if she had puppies, she could pass it on to her puppies and she could pass it on in a much more severe form. So, sadly I can't keep her because I'm looking for another breeding bitch. Which sounds mercenary, but I, I can't really afford to keep dogs that aren't breeding for me. Um, sorry Goldie, but I really am gutted. However, she's available to a pet home um, my vet said um, that what they would do is when the dog is spayed, I'm going to show you the rest of the litter, they would add an extra 20 quid onto the bill for, um, for the extra anaesthetic and they would simply repair the hernia at the same time as spaying. But I, you know, I have got a full vet report for her. She's a lovely, lovely puppy. She's really friendly and sweet. And she's not the most dominant, but she isn't the most submissive. She's nicely in the middle. Um, she's learning to poop outside. And if you go onto, the, onto YouTube, you can find videos taken nearly every day of this litter from when they were born. And so, um, yeah, they're... There's nothing you won't know about your puppy. Okay. Um, and the <coughs> all the other puppies have sold for 1,200. Um, I'm going to ask 1,000 for Goldie, given that she has a, a health issue. But I can give you the vet report, and my vet assures me it's not something that's going to impact on her health in later life. It, it's only an issue if you want to breed. So pet homes only. And she's not for breeding. Hello little girl. You're so cute. Hello possum. I'm kind of really sad. I'm not going to be keeping you. Hello possum. She's grown up in my home. Her mother is PRA tested, clear of PRA, which is the only one that poodles and cavaliers have in common. Um, she's healthy in every other way, no heart murmur, no problem with her eyes or ears or tummy or anything else. She's microchipped and vaccinated. Let's turn the lights on. Babbies! Hello, babbies! And as you can see, she's one of a litter of five. She's interacted with my little Yorkshire Terrier. She's interacted with her mommy. And she's interacted with my little Cavalier King Charles. So very, very well socialized. Handled since the day they were born. Toenails trimmed. Oh, Rue, there's one stuck in there. 
Sorry, puppy. Come on, puppy. Hello, Bruno. <laughs> Lively bunch, anyway. <laughs>